Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we will be taking a look at another Victorian Ox knife and this is the 58mm Companion. So this being the original Companion unlike the new one they've released. And this was a gift from my good friend John over at Thrifty Kniffy. He's just hit that 5k mark which is an impressive milestone. So for whatever reason if you haven't subscribed to him please make sure you do. Along with that Sunday, November 19th, 10.30am Central, 4.30pm UK. We're going to be doing a joint giveaway. Myself for hitting the 2,000 subscriber mark. And John for hitting that 5,000 subscriber mark, which is absolutely phenomenal. So again, congratulations, John. Excellent. So we're going to be taking a look at this today. The Companion, of course, sent over by John. And it is the 58mm, which equates to 1 to 2 and a quarter inches. We have the smooth red Alox, which was the standard for the original Companion. They did release further colours in sort of throughout the years, but this was the original when it all sort of first started. You can see we have the same construction as you would get on the Classic SD and any other 58mm as the, the four pins, one in each sort of corner. And of course you have that Victorinox shield in there as well, which is put it in silver. And I mean, I just love how classy this thing looks. It's a perfect thing, just maybe slip in your wallet, in your purse, in your handbag, in your work bag, anything along those lines. I think this would be absolutely perfect for. It's that really sort of nice, light, gentlemanly carry knife. Nice and slender. I mean, look at slender that is. You get a good amount of tools on here, and it's just a wonderful little piece. So it does have a main blade on there, and we're looking at a little tiny pen blade. Take a look at the... Tang stamp, which is the older four line tang stamp. So you have Victorinox, uh, Switzerland, stainless, and then Ross Fry or Ross Free. Nice little snap on that. I'd say this is right about three and a half to a four. And that's pretty standard, really, for a Victorinox of this sort of size. I will say, though, the older models with the older tang stamps do seem to have a bit of a better snap. Maybe a little bit slightly stronger on the pull as well. Something I always aim for, I try and get myself the old with the model if I can. So that blade length we are looking at, just pop that here. So we have a full tip to tang of 1.6 inches and then a cutting edge of right about, what are we looking at, 1, 1 1.3, 1.25, maybe just about. So a very small blade, but one that's definitely very usable. I use this pretty much every day on my desk. Um, I use it mainly for opening letters, small parcels, things like that. And it's just a great little pen blade for that. You can really get in and open the packet without worrying about damage or anything. It's just a, such a small little blade. Really like the snap on this as well. For such a small little knife, I think it's got fantastic snap. And I also really like no keyring. I know that might be not a bit weird for some people, seeing as it's meant to be on your keys, this sort of keychain size but I really think it adds to that elegance and nice, slick, smooth lines. You will, of course, notice as well there's no scale tools as this is a smooth red Alox. Next sort of tool we have then is the nail file and the nail cleaner. So you can see we have the file in here and, of course, the tip, which you would use to clean out under your nails. Could be used maybe as a tiny pry bar, but I wouldn't put too much pressure on that. Later models did exchange this sort of nail cleaner tip for be a screwdriver, hence the SD of the classic SD. And again, we're looking at about three and a half to a four pull with a nice sort of snap on the open of that as well. And that sort of tool length does sort of equate to the same as the main blade. So you're looking at 1.6 inches again. I just really love this Alox, the smooth Alox. Just something about this colour, it's really vibrant. Just love how they've done this. I really wish they would bring some stuff out like this. Maybe um, do a cadet in this sort of smooth Alox, maybe a Bantam. That would be wonderful to see from them if they would do that. And then last but not least, on the reverse, we do have the scissors. Probably my favourite tool I have on any of my Victorinox knives. Bar the pen blade, I really like the scissors. They're perfect for that working environment. If you work in a school or if you work I don't know, somewhere you can't really take a knife but you want something just simple on your keys or something simple in your wallet, this would definitely be the thing I would take. That really sort of unthreatening size of scissors pretty much fits in an inch and a half just about. 
and that does make the total tool length so the total close open length of this takes it to about just under one two three just under four inches so it's a very small knife one that's definitely very usable and if you get the chance i would highly recommend picking one of these up so take a look at that pen blade again you see that nice clean nail nick of course we have the sort of nearly mirror polish that victor Hornox do so well it's sort of like a i don't know i wouldn't call it a semi polish like a tumbled polish so you can almost see like the tumble marks on the blade you kind of see that on there pretty much the same finish on all the tools of course the nice clean nail nick again there you can kind of see that tumble finish a bit better on this tool and of course that nail file on the front and then again these scissors on the back just a phenomenal gift and i really do appreciate it john so thank you very much for sending this over please be sure to check out our live on november 19th there's going to be loads of prizes given away 10 30 a.m central 4 30 p.m uk time over on john's channel at thrifty kniffy make sure you check it out so there we go guys that's my review of the victoria knox companion i really hope you enjoyed this please be sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.